Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hurricane Luther stealing $100,000 in diamonds and gold blindsided with insane dose of karma. Forget Hurricane Florence. What we really need to be concerned about is the damage the looters cause after the storm passes, while people are desperately trying to pick up the pieces. As the devastating storm was passing, during the height of the terrifying winds and rain, someone actually broke in and smashed through cases and stole more than $100,000 worth of jewelry at Snowden's Jewelers in North Carolina. The store owner, Chris Snowden, confirmed the looters took bridal sets, they took gold chains, and they took some watches. He then added that his store probably took a loss in excess of $100,000, plus what the actual storm damage caused. They busted up my cases, they busted up my front door, I walked in and the storm did a whole bunch of damage from roof leaks, but on top of that, all of the glass damage that we're going have to replace. It's just devastating," Snowden said. He also said that he knew this was happening since right as the eye of the storm was passing through his store alarm went off and he got a call from the alarm company but he couldn't get to it because of the 100 miles per hour winds and the police weren't available. Here is more on this via Fox 8. Left helpless to stop the criminals taking advantage of his store in the middle of one of the worst natural disasters North Carolina has ever seen, Snowden could only wait as the tempest thrashed. What he found knocked the wind right out him. I showed up and my heart just sank, my front door was busted out, several of my showcases were busted and jewelry was taken from it, with everything that was going on. I just found it hard to believe that someone would take advantage of us in that type of a situation," Snowden said. The business owner alerted pawn shops who are keeping an eye out for the jewelry that was swiped from his store, but he still can't figure out why someone would exploit an already desperate situation. My father and I started this business 28 years ago. We've worked day in and day out in the store every day of the week for the last 28 years," he said. You know there's desperation going on and people are using the excuse of needing necessity. But this isn't something that someone needs for survival. Through the prism of the shards of glass left by the thieves, Snowden is hopeful something will give and that someone will speak up. Snowden is determined to reopen despite the thousands upon thousands of dollars that were pilfered in the middle of the storm. He says he is providing a $1,000 reward to anyone with information that leads to an arrest. Apparently, this wasn't an isolated case according to Witt. Police say they arrested three looters after setting up an online undercover sting operation. Jacksonville police say during the height of the hurricane, officers saw a broken out front window at the athlete's foot on North Marine Boulevard. Because of the hurricane, police had to put their investigation on hold until they could contact the owners and find out if anything was taken. Advertisement, story continues below. On Tuesday, police say the suspects were using the online app Letgo to sell the stolen goods to undercover officers. Jail and Martin, 18, Narik Dorsey, 23, and James Brooks, 18, were charged with felony breaking and entering, looting, larceny after breaking and entering, obtaining property by false pretenses, injury to real property, and curfew violation. Dozens of pairs of stolen shoes, along with dozens of clothing articles were recovered, police say, many with security devices and tags still attached. The three Jacksonville men were all given $70,000 secured bonds. Seriously though, what kind of people do this? It has to be the lowest form of scum on earth. They wait for a disaster like this to go steal things from their neighbors and local businesses? This here is why we need the Second Amendment and a law should be attached to it that in cases of emergency like this anyone caught looting their fellow man's property has every right to protect their property by any means necessary. No questions asked. If you want to act like a savage, you should be treated like one, don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.